Why do we need food? We need food to live, but the wrong foods can and will kill you. Poor diet and a lack of physical activity has accounted for over 400,000 deaths each year, which is a 30% increase from 1990. This number is almost equal to the number of people who die from smoking-related diseases. Eventually this number will increase and obesity will become the number one cause of death in America. That is serious. Food, which allows us to live, will soon be the number one cause of deaths in America. What will it take for the average person to realize their everyday food consumption is killing them? We have surrendered to the food marketer's goal of selling us as much food as possible so they can make the biggest profits. It's up to you to find a way to override their signals. We are being excessively stimulated every day with unhealthy foods and we need to fight back and stop being manipulated. Below are three suggestions that you should follow to have a fighting chance against the food industry, or companies. Remember, you need to figure out what your own triggers are and educate your mind to control the food and stop letting the food control you. 1. You need to come up with a strategy for yourself. The next time you find yourself eating, stop and ask yourself, why you are eating? Is it because you're actually hungry, or are you just eating to eat? I'm talking about times of the day that you find yourself wanting something sweet. For most people it's usually about 2 p.m. the afternoon. Try and figure out what's driving you to feel the need to want to eat. If when you're on your drive home from work and you pass a bakery and quickly find yourself surrendering to the sweet fresh smell of baked cookies, and all of a sudden have this uncontrollable craving for them, you need to change your route home, or if you can't, you have to find another way to control the cravings. You must figure out what is stimulating your senses to eat. Once you recognize what it is, you can begin to find ways to avoid it. So remember, the next time you catch yourself eating, ask yourself why, and I'm sure you'll be surprised. This exercise also creates awareness about what you are doing. Most of the time, we don't even pay attention to what we are eating or worse, how much we are consuming each time we eat. That was probably the biggest change I noticed for myself. When I became aware of exactly what I was eating, I immediately started to change my eating habits. To be honest it was a little shocking to realize I was consuming three times the amount of calories I needed all because of unhealthy snacking. This will give you a wake-up call to see how easily we allow the food industry, or companies, to seduce us with food every day of our lives. 2. Resist temptation, but not completely. We are biologically built to struggle with temptation. Our natural impulses make our willpower work overtime, especially where food is concerned. When we resist temptation completely and totally deny ourselves of something we want, it actually drives us to want the thing, food, more. The more you want something, the more you pay attention to it. This then begins that old, yes I want it, dot but no I shouldn't have it, struggle. What we need to do is figure out how to diminish that feeling of wanting that food, not the food itself. Try replacing that food with something you want more than that specific food, something that will be a positive life choice. For example, a chocolate bar looks really good, and you do want it, but if you chose a piece fruit instead, you'll feel better, look better and your body will appreciate you much more once you've eaten it, plus your reflection in the mirror will soon inspire you to keep this up. Trust me, you can get so much reward from one small decision, or can get so much distress from the wrong one. After all, it's just a piece of food, you don't need to surrender your power to it. You have the power to make the right choices, don't let someone or something else make it for you. It's mind over matter, are you really going to let a chocolate bar or a piece of pie control how you feel? You're much stronger than that and you know it. 3. Finally, eat real food. You won't find hidden food labels on fruits and vegetables, or fresh meats and dairy. The more fresh food you consume the less room you'll have for those fatty snacks and greasy burgers. And by fresh, I mean fresh. Nothing frozen, canned or already prepared. All of those products have an alarming amount of salt and preservatives to maintain their freshness, which means it is now basically a chemical replication of what once was a fresh product. As we know, most fresh foods do not have a very long shelf life, so food companies pump them with anything they can to extend the shelf life of the product, which will ensure sell through, therefore securing sales and profit. In addition, if something contains more than four to six ingredients, or has ingredients such as calcium propionate, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrite, sulfites or disodium, do not eat it. 
I truly believe that these chemicals when induced in large or small quantities cause cancers and other negative health-related diseases. So please stick to the fresh, natural foods. If you eat 5 to 6 small healthy meals a day, instead of 3 huge meals and drink enough water, about 8 glasses a day, you will never find yourself in that, I'm starving, mode, so you will less likely feel the urge to overeat. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video thank you.